So I came out to the woods today to test a theory that says the black and dirty pot will bring water to a boil faster than a clean shiny pot will when placed over a fire. Well I've done that test and that video will appear, well I'll put a link to it up here in the corner. But I thought I've got all that hot water, I may as well use it to make my lunch. And the lunch I'm going to have today is the Happy Yak Shrimp Chowder. If you're interested in seeing what it looks and tastes like, keep watching. So the shrimp chowder is from the Happy Yak Express line of meals, which is to say all you have to do to prepare this is bring the required amount of water to a boil, put it in with the package with the contents, stir it up, seal it up and let it set for the required amount of time. So in this case it is 500 mils of water, so that is two cups and I have all of that boiling right now. And I'm required to allow this to stand 15 to 18 minutes once you mix it up. Now alternatively you could put it in a pot and bring it to a boil over a fire or a stove for one to two minutes and then let it set for 10 to 12 minutes. Uh, it's just as easy for me to do this in the express method. So what is this? Well, it is a shrimp chowder. It is a gluten-free meal and it has inside of it, and I'll read the major ingredients, which are dehydrated potato flakes, skim milk powder, dehydrated vegetables, onions, carrots, potatoes, celery, leek, red, red and green bell peppers, fish stock, hydrogenated soil oil, vegetable powder, including tomato, carrot, onions and garlics and spices, and of course, freezed dried shrimp. Now, I'll leave the rest of the information or the link to the Happy Yak website where you can get the rest of the information. This is not a big heavy meal. It will be, for if I eat the whole thing, it's about 260 calories. So that's not bad. That's, that's you know, for the amount of work I'm doing today and I have a number of uh, snacks, uh, that'll probably work out just well, just fine. So rather than actually add the water directly into the envelope, quite often what I like to do is put it in what I'm going to be eating it out of anyway. And I have... Oh, pine needles. Uh, I'm using my fair share GSI fair share mug. I like this because it's, well, it's easy to claim. It does have measurements on the inside to make sure I'm putting the right amount of water in if I want to use it that way. And it's insulated. I think I just said that. And uh, yeah, it, I can put the lid back on it and I'll put it inside of a cozy, which is just a, a dollar store lunch bag, and let it rehydrate. So let's open this up and see what it looks like. A lot of shrimp. Uh, what I'll do is I'll put this in the cup and then I'll see if I can't bring it up to the camera to show you. It smells like shrimp. It smells like a fish chowder. I'll have to give it a little bit of shake. Bring the uh, larger ingredients up to the surface. There we go. All right, now let's see if I can't show you what this looks like. So I can see the shrimp and the onions and the green and red bell peppers and the fish stock and the potato flakes in there. So I guess all I need to do now is add the water, stir it up, set it aside, and we'll bring it back when it's time to test it out. Okay, well it turns out it's been more like 30 minutes since I put the meal in my lunch bag here in that inside of the GSI fair share cup. I had a, had a couple of hikers come by, people that from the search and rescue organization that were scouting out some of the areas of the wilderness here for an exercise that they're planning to have in the near future. So we stopped and chatted for a while. So I've got a chance for my lunch to really get well hydrated. So let's take a look. My GSI fair share mug. Oh yeah, still nice and hot. You know, I like when I get one of these Happy Yak meals to get a good smell of it when I open it up. Just a, you know, a smell is a part of ha enjoying a good meal. So it is very creamy. Kind of like a potato soup creamy, if that, uh, that makes sense. Not quite as thick as a stew, but kind of thick. Hmm, not bad. Trying to get a couple shrimp on my spoon. The shrimp are well hydrated, as are what vegetables are. Most of the vegetables are pretty small, like the carrots and everything. They're not large chunks. It 
tastes like shrimp chowder. Actually, it's quite good. I, I like the texture of it. It's not, uh, when I think of a chowder, like a fish chowder, they're, quite often they're made with a, a cream base and potatoes, of course. Uh, this is not a cream base, like a milky cream. This is more like a potato soup base, if that makes sense. You know, with every Happy Yak meal that I try, one of the comments I have is how not salty it is. I'm looking for my spice kit. I think I need to add a little salt to this. Not much, but a little bit of salt I think would make it pop out. I would sooner have a meal that I want to add salt to than wishing there was too much or wishing there was less salt in it. All right, let me see if I can reposition the camera to show you what this looks like. Uh, then uh, we'll close this video up. So hopefully you can see it's kind of a creamy, but not too creamy. I'm going to see if I can get one of the shrimp on the spoon here. Stay on the spoon there. You can see the shrimp there. Yeah, it's quite nice. A little bit more adjusting. Okay, I have a question for you. Some of my longtime viewers may recognize this. Anybody know the history behind this spoon? I'll tell you what I'll do. It appeared in a video, the making of this spoon. So what I'll do at the end of this video is link to how I made this spoon right here on this spot, probably two years ago. Okay, Happy Yak Shrimp Chowder. Nice meal. It's not a heavy meal. I could have used some bread. I probably could have made some bannock had I had a bit more time. And I think that would have gone well with this. But uh, it's nice to have with something. I don't think I consider this a fulfilling meal all by itself. Tasty, absolutely. Uh, texture and everything inside of it is very good. But I think I need a little bit more substance to, before I could call this a real meal. Okay, that's all I have for you folks. If you've enjoyed this video, you may want to consider subscribing to my channel so that you don't miss any further videos. If you have any questions about the Happy Yak meals or anything else, by all means, put them in the show notes or in the question section below. But until next time, get out and explore. And take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.